Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to print your screen on Windows 10. So this is pretty straightforward and we're going to jump right into it. So I'm aware that most of you guys probably know what the snipping tool is and you actually just want to take a screenshot of your entire screen without using the snipping tool. So in this brief tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to do just that. So it's going to be pretty straightforward. All you're going to do is look for the print screen button on your keyboard. There should be something that says PRNT screen or it should say print screen all spelled out. It should be ideally near the top right corner of your keyboard or near the top and if there's a cluster of buttons that you don't usually click on there's a good chance it's in there. So you, once you've selected that now of course you want to know how to actually print your screen and that can be achieved in a few different ways. So once you've printed your screen, you won't actually get any notification that you just did it. So we're going to have to print it out using another means now that we've had it copied to our clipboard. So I'm going to open up WordPad here, which is a desktop app. If you have Microsoft Office products like Word installed on your computer, you can use that as well. So now once I have WordPad open, I'm going to right click in here and then I'm going to paste now I know this does not look the best. I believe it's because I'm in a virtual environment and it just did not come out the greatest resolution. But rest assured this will print your screen. I know it looks a little bit weird in my case but it just happens to be the environment that I'm currently in. But once you're done doing that you can just go up to the file tab at the top of WordPad and then print. And then like you'd print any normal Word document you could just print it out right through there. So it's a pretty straightforward tutorial. Um, if you did have Microsoft Word, I'd probably recommend you use that. I think that's a little bit better. And it's pretty simple. And just mine as well while I'm already doing this video. If you wanted to just take snipping a part of the screen, or actually all of the screen, or a certain window that was active on your computer, you can open up the snipping tool by just typing in snipping tool on the start menu. And you have a lot of different options if you're not already aware of what it does. The default configuration is going to be a rectangle and by selecting that you can select all the screen by just dragging it and holding down the left mouse key and then you can save it and then put it in a word document or something like that you can also actually do a window snip so just only snip part of a window so if I wanted to just do the desktop, we can see it avoided the snipping tool itself. It just took a, one of the desktop. That's good for if you're making a written tutorial or something like that and you don't want to have any weird borders. So pretty straightforward. I think we pretty much cover what we were going to cover in this video. And as always, I hope it helped you out. And I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.